Bats experience. Yeah. One of the world's largest waterfalls. Iguazu Falls on the Argentine side. The entire water cycle is run by the uh, influence of the sun generating enough uh, energy to evaporate the system or evaporate the water that is in the liquid form on Earth. That water then goes up into the atmosphere where it is cooled, condensed, and returned back to Earth in some form of precipitation. Up river here is obviously the collection point for all of this water and it comes down to a meeting point um, of Iguazu Falls right before us here. So all of the water that is supplied to the Iguazu River is falling here at an astronomical rate. 65 uh, Olympic-sized swimming pools can be filled up every second from what falls off this. And this is only a small portion, a small river in comparison to the larger uh, river systems of Argentina. The week prior to this adventure to Iguazu, uh, the students were learning about uh, nutrient cycles and how nature is uh, a combination of atoms all revolving within like a sealed jar. By understanding that, that these molecules don't necessarily leave Earth, we get to see that they cycle throughout the system. But it doesn't really take hold until you actually come to a place like this where you see physically the constant flow of water coming over the fall. So it's, it's, it's the information is great, but when, it, when it's visualized in this, this manner, it really brings to life the information that you learn within the classroom. This is awesome.